Anyone else? Remember these? It's faith. Them? Anybody else? Anybody have an unspoken but lifting the hand? Amen. Let's all remember the lost. We all know somebody lost that needs Jesus. Amen. All those who can and will, let's come and gather at the altar. Sorry. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Amen. Remember Trina and and Drew as well. Let's come and gather daughter and pray.
It's good to have the Sutton family back with us this evening. We missed y'all on Sunday. Glad y'all had a, a good getaway. Remember Mr. Teresa and Mr. Bobby, too, as they're traveling. They'll be back tomorrow. Is that correct? Page 130 in your hymn book. Two ushers, please. Kids, you'll be right after this. You can come up and, and take up your offering as well. Brother Danny, bless the offering.
Y'all pray for the Kirklands. They're going to sing for us. Worship with them. Sister Faith, she's going to come sing a song for us and worship with her. Oh, boy. We get a treat now. Two for one. Amen. to the air words lost on a breeze some just see teardrops fall into the floor just a waste of time not anything more but it's a direct line to the throne room where you can find Someone who cares I if you need some proof I can tell you That there's power Power in prayer I can tell you about the time The Lord gave me peace With trouble all around Calm the storm in me And I remember when I cried out He saved my soul Some have their doubts But I know that I know that I know Prayer is a direct line To the throne room Where you can find 
never gonna change so don't miss this moment to call on his name prayer is a direct line to the throne room where you can find someone who cares and if you need some proof I can tell you that there's power, power in prayer. And if you need some proof, I can tell you that there's power, power in prayer. else with a song on their heart? Aren't you glad there's a direct line? You don't get put on call waiting. You don't have that operator hanging hanging there putting you on hold. You can call on him anytime. Amen. And he's always picks up on the other end. Thank you, Lord. He's always got the answer that we need too. Amen. Amen. You enjoy the singing of the musicians this evening? Let's give them and the Lord a hand. Come on, Preacher Michael. I've been looking forward to this all day long. It just blesses my heart every time every time you get to watch Michael preach. It just you know God's in it. Amen. You know God's in it. Amen. Luke chapter number 11. Luke chapter number 11. Luke chapter number 11. Everybody there? Say amen. Amen. And it came to pass. It came to pass. He was praying. Was praying. In a certain place. Certain place. When he when he ceased. When he ceased. One of his disciples. One of his disciples. Said unto him. Said unto him. Lord. Lord. Teach us to pray. Teach us to pray. As John also. As John also. Taught his disciples. Taught his disciples. Bow our heads and pray. Father, we love you tonight, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here tonight, Lord, for another opportunity you give us to call upon you, Lord. And God, we just uh, thank you, Lord, for the songs that were sung, Lord, that touched our hearts tonight, Lord, for the moving of the Spirit that we felt thus far. God, we just pray that you would just take, Lord, in the next little while, Lord, Lord, that you would help Preacher Michael, Lord, that you would fill him up, give him what we need tonight, Lord. Lord, speak through him to our heart, Lord. And, Lord, just uh, come down and visit with us for a little while, Lord. And you know what each and every one of us stand in need of. Lord, I pray that you would help us to leave in a better state than when we come. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, I looked this scripture up. God showed it to me, but there ain't nobody else has shown me this except for God. But when it says to pray into it, yeah, we do have our own place. We can pray for our own place, all that. But it's 
we can, it's better we have our own place some and pray for certain stuff who we do have. That some of it we can't do it alone. Some of us can't do it alone. Some of us can. But we have to do we have to do is pray for God where we were doing. But we come to God's house to worship Him. God, we ain't nothing about God. We suffering with God and we have worked with God. We work with Him because that's the only thing we have to do. We don't have nothing else that God. Our job is it's worth it him and do his work. I mean, he wasn't, if people have problems, they come down here and bring it to God. Amen. We can't keep the pressure to ourselves at all. We have to bring it to God in person. When you bring it to God, you leave it to God. Amen. But we can to, to the Lord's house that's the worst of him and have him help us out. We need him to help us. God has done so much for me, but God can tell me to keep on going. But we need to. We can't have, that's can't think about ourselves alone. But we had to put our, our differences sometimes. We had our own differences. There were ways we had to put on the side and move some for God. Because the only way is God's way was worse than Him and sing to Him, like I said before. The only thing it's about is cross that fence line and get to the gate of heaven. We did not, like I said before, we didn't create ourselves. God created us in person. And God's the only one who can create one at a time. He can create all of us at the same time. We can bring the service to here, to God, or we can take it outside to God. Tell something about God in person. But there ain't no sense kidding anything to ourselves, especially we can take two other people and tell people about God for it's too late. But Lord asked me, and Lord asked you to move, you need to move for good. He asked you come he asked you come down and pray, come down and pray. I mean we can't stand in one place the whole time. We're sitting down. God, if God's talking to you, you're sitting down. Brand, he had to pray about, and God, a talk with you, see he wants you to do. God naturally using one, he let them. But God used what he wants to use for us. He gave us what he wants for us. But he used you, let him use you, and worship him and go along with it. That's what we must be doing for God. God day for us. He can do it. He can do all of it. He can do all of it. God can do all of it by himself, but some of us can't do too much pressure ourselves. We have to use God to help us out. But God can use everybody in different ways they can. But everybody's different than everybody else. But we have to follow Him to the Lord. Our jobs are to go out there and tell somebody about. God 
and get them in church much as we can, head them to the right path to God. To God. I know one day we are going to heaven, it won't be here. We ain't promised tomorrow. We have to do what we have to do for today because God, we don't know God's got a plan for us. And God, like I said, God, we got to let God use us. But Lord, the Lord can naturally use anybody. I said, in Romans last, last time I preached, we're not the power. God's the power all the way through all of us. We can't do anything by ourselves at all. Like if we can't, we can't guard in it. We can do all of it together with God. But God can God can use anything we need to. That's one thing we cannot do. I actually said this to Brother Dale. Dale said the day was keeping him out of church. I said to him. Devil, don't let the devil kick you out of church. So the devil has done by showing up. He bring, we come to God's house. The devil's outside, and God's inside. Amen. He can be all the place. And the devil comes in. The only thing we have to do is kick the devil out. <laughs> because. I, I, the church don't want nothing about God, about the devil. The devil ain't to the right path. God is personally this, is leader to us. If we follow him, we're good doing anything. If we have to pray with anyone, we can be by ourselves on time to pray certain stuff. I pray for any, anyone family, much I can. But there's families out there don't know about God. But if somebody asks me to pray for them, I'm praying for that family. But the family, there's some families not in church. But we have to pray for them. Hopefully, they find the right way to God. The only way children, children, God, you want you want to be His house. If I showing up, He's God's house by worshiping Him. I mean, you can come sit down. You sit down. You have to pay attention as hard to God and to the singers of God, because God did not create us. That's for nothing. He didn't create it at all. That's to sit around. He created us to do his work around for him. But God led us to a different way. He's the son of us. Like I said, God gives us a different way than everybody else. Now I believe God's going to use me completely a different way. I pray a time that God got something. God gave me something and I prayed over it and I go along with it. But we did not come in God's house that's like I said not sit down we come worship him because the cross is sense of Jesus. And our jobs are is do God's work as much as we can to God to God comes back and get us. Amen. God can do anything. We can do anything for God. Are we? The question to it is, are you on? You go on your own. Yet you nothing about God. But you flop, you stay with God, you something following God. You have something following there. 
And that's the way we need to be doing following God, where he is leaving us to. Power to it is God's, I said it, God's had the power. We don't, we don't have the power, but God does, upper us. And I believe God can do anything to any of us. But it leads to families, members, yes. We have, we have prayed for each other and, and family. And we do have to pray for this church. If we didn't come to, to church, what's the sense being here? They're going to be, you didn't come to worship God at all. You're just going to come in here and sit down. What's the sense being here? The only reason we come here, I said it, we come to worship him. Because God said we can naturally do anything we want because we got the cross and we've got the power to God. We put the power in him as we can and pray for each other. But we come to worship him as well. We can't do much by ourselves without God. That's two to different ways. You either follow God, or you going to go with, with the devil. Right. At that in the world, yeah, there's people out there with the devil, they just follow not a good path to it. But I believe if we follow God, all the best of the devil, devil, all that, and I believe people naturally can probably Follow God instead they find God, holla better instead of the devil. Yeah. He chose the wrong path, it's the devil. Right. The devil's one path, and you got God on the other one. Yeah. And I believe he chose two different sides. And I believe the devil will be the wrong one, and God's be the right way. Amen. I said, it, God. He can do anything if you let him. And our jobs are is worship him and pray for each other, one another. Because David has said this last time he preached. We all, that's one. It's one, we got to stick together as much as we can. Because we don't, we, we, tear, we tear apart. And we don't want nobody to stay tear apart. God naturally do so all different things with us we in this one and follow each other. We can. But God can do anything we had to let him. But I believe God naturally used any of us, and we just have to let them. Our job always had to come down here and pray for, for any family members or yourself, whatever is going on, for anyone. Our job always, if somebody comes down here to pray, we don't, they don't want to pray by itself. They always got somebody to pray for them. That's right. And that's our job for us to be helping them pray to move. <sighs> Becky, can you get us along? And I believe. God's nicely used us. We just have to let him do what we have to do. And we follow him. But these Oscars are open. You want to use them? Go ahead. I'm going to go pray for myself.
anybody else this evening? Maybe the Lord's just waiting to hear from you this evening. He knows what you're going through. He already knows. Maybe he just wants you to come and talk with him about it. It's like that verse said, Lord, teach us to pray. Lord, help us. Michael Michael did a, an excellent job. Um, Lord, help, help all of us to do your will, not ours. Amen. Amen. Follow him. He's just looking for a willing vessel. Amen. 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 You enjoy the message tonight? Amen. Let's give the Lord and Preacher Michael a hand this evening. Amen. I'm going to ask Michael if he would if he would step to the back door, please. Uh, ladies, don't forget, uh, the ladies' district meeting is this Saturday morning at 10 a.m. at Way of the Cross Rural Baptist Church. Um, also, the following Saturday, the 17th, will be the community breakfast. Um, we are going to get some flyers up and try to get some folks to help go around the community here. Try to hand out some flyers. Try to get our community more, a little bit more involved in our community breakfast, if if the be the Lord's will, Amen. And uh, <clears throat> just pray for that. Pray the Lord to help us with that. Remember that we have, I, well, we've talked to two other churches as well. Um, we're still waiting to get an answer from them on just trying, to, just like she said, to get more people involved, more churches involved. The last time we, we made two trips, isn't that right, Michael? We made two trips over there, and we probably could have got two more van loads out of there easily. But we, the time when you bring them and you drop them and you let them eat, and then you go wait, and then you go back, we could have probably got double the people. That's why we needed another van. 